Hello everyone, this is Mr. Navratil here. Um, so in this video we're going to be going over how to create your sticker design using Onshape. Uh, you can access Onshape through ClassLink if you just go ahead and click on the Onshape button here and then sign in with your Google account you should have access to this online 3D modeling software and you can find yourself on the dashboard by clicking on this button here called Onshape. The first step for creating your custom vinyl sticker is to find something that you'd like to kind of trace over. Um, it is recommended that you try something more on the simplistic side, um, nothing too crazy complex, although you can spend the time to do that if you'd like. I'm just going to go with the Apple logo here. So I've just simply typed in Apple logo and I can go to images and find one that's suitable kind of to trace over in the program. Um, this one looks pretty good. So I will right click and I will hit save image as and this will go right to your downloads folder on your computer. So Apple logo black and white. Notice it says PNG. Uh, Onshape is going to be able to take PNG and JPEG images. Uh, if it says something else like WEBP, uh, um, it's unfortunately not going to work in Onshape. So you're going to have to find a different picture. So make sure it says PNG or JPEG and we'll hit save. Now from here, we're gonna go back to Onshape. I'm gonna come up to the top left. I'm gonna hit create and then document. You're going to type in your first and last name and then you're gonna hit okay. This is gonna open up a brand new workspace for us in Onshape. You can see we have the front, the top, and the right planes here. The first thing that we need to do is tell the program we want to draw. So to do that, we're going to come up to where it says sketch. We're going to click on sketch and you can choose either one of these plans. It honestly doesn't matter. Uh, we'll just click on the top and you can see it kind of puts in a digital piece of paper for us. Now it is important that you do pay attention to where you click though because we're going to come up to this view cube and we're going to change the view so we're looking straight at the digital piece of paper. From here, we need to add in the image that we downloaded. To do that, you need to come up to the top here. Um, this is currently set to DXF. We need to hit this little arrow next to it, and we're going to hit Insert Image. We don't want to insert a DXF. We want to insert an image, and this dialog box is going to pop up. Now, if you're using a Chromebook with this tutorial, at this point in time, it is possible that you are unable to see this button where it says import. And that's what we have to click on. So to see that on the Chromebook, you do need to go into full screen mode. It's one of the buttons on the top of your keyboard. It will allow you to go in full screen and then you should be able to see the import button here. So I'm gonna click on import. I'm gonna go to my downloads folder. I'm gonna find that picture and I'm gonna hit open. Now it's going to upload over here and then it will show up here when it's done. Our next step is to click on it, come into the drawing. We have to click once and then click again to tell the program how large we'd like the image. At this point, it doesn't really matter how big you're creating this. The export of our sketch is going to be in a DXF form, which is just points. Um, so it doesn't really matter how big you're doing it. Just make it big enough so that you're able to see everything to trace over. So at this point, we do need to start the trace. You can do this with a couple of different tools. We have the straight line tool. So if you just click that a bunch of times, you can make lines. Um, to get out of a tool, you're gonna hit the escape button on the top left of your keyboard. So I have deselected everything. Now I can select what I've just drawn and then hit the backspace key and it will delete it. We do have the rectangle tool and the circle tool and the arc tool. You can use any of these to trace, although for a lot of our images, what's going to happen is you're going to have all of these curved edges. And the best way to do that would be to use this, the spline tool. So we're going to go ahead and click on spline, and I'm going to zoom in very, very far. Now the rule of thumb when we're trying to trace over for creating custom stickers is the more times that you are clicking around the object, the more accurate it's going to be. So you can see I'm kind of taking my time and I'm going around and tracing as closely as I can. If you zoom out and you're only clicking a couple times, you're going to lose that accuracy as you go forward. So you do need to zoom in 
and click multiple times. Again, the more times that you click, the more accurate it's going to be. So I'm just going to quickly finish this up. If I were to be tracing this for my own purposes, I would be taking much more time to go around the edges. But for our purposes, I will click through here. That's probably not going to be too accurate. There we go. Up and over and over, down, down. And then when you get to the end, you need to make sure that you are completing that, that drawing. And it will turn dark blue. Yeah, again, so I kind of skipped a part there, so it's not too traced uh, over that well. Now we do uh, need to make sure that we're getting all of the pieces of the drawing. So I'm just going to start clicking again. And we're going to trace this top portion very quickly. Again, if I were doing, the, doing this myself, I would be clicking much, much more accurately. But this will do for now. And there you go. So we have both of the things traced over at this point. When you have completed your tracing and you have everything that you'd like drawn over, <coughs> we now need to export this uh, drawing as a DXF. So from here, we are going to tell the program that we're done drawing. So we're going to come up to the little check mark and we're going to click on that. Now the program is all back in 3D modeling mode, but for our purposes, we're just going to come over to the left and find where it says Sketch 1. You're going to right click on that if you're using a mouse. If you're on your Chromebook, it's just the two finger tap. And you're going to come down to where it says Export as DXF. And we're going to click there. Now there's a couple of very important things that you need to make sure that you're doing. First, you need to type your first and last name where it says file name. The format, you need to make sure that it says DXF. DXF. If it's a DWG, unfortunately the vinyl cutter is not going to be able to read that file. So make sure it says DXF and then the rest you can leave alone and you're going to hit export. Now in a moment, it's going to pop up in your downloads folder as a DXF file. And you're simply just going to upload that to the Google Classroom assignment and hit turn in. You're all set. Thanks for watching.